Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a video talking about this custom knife sheath that I got from 710 Custom Sheaths. I had an opportunity to meet JD, the guy who makes these sheaths, um, at a gathering of Becker heads or people who are into Becker knives that was held here in my local area about a year ago. Um, and I not only got a chance to see the stuff that he makes that he brought uh, with him himself, but uh, a lot of the other guys who meet there have equipment that he's made, whether that be um, custom sheaths, uh, handle scales, um, and even some custom knives. So I had a chance to meet him. Really cool guy, really down to earth, um, and a, a, just a really generous guy. So I decided that when I bought my Becker BK9 here, that I wanted to get one of the custom sheaths that he made just so I could test them out. And I've been extremely satisfied with it so far. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my overall experience with it, um, you know, so the fit and finish on it, and some of the other options out there as far as the sheaths that he makes. So, to start out with the fit and finish, um, you can tell here these uh, these little rivets that hold it together. This is a taco style fold over Kydex sheath. Um, the rivets that hold it in are all perfect. You know, there's none of them that are sticking out. No excess bits hanging out there, so that's good. Um, and the edges here, you can tell that he spent a good amount of time, you know, um, smoothing these out. You know, they're very, very soft to the touch. There's no jagged edges anywhere both between the actual sheath itself and this little belt loop. Again, very, very smooth, well finished. You can tell that he definitely didn't cut any corners as far as the actual manufacturer of this uh, this specific sheath. And then as far as the finish goes, um, you know, I went with the multicam design because I'm a big fan of multicam and the pack that I put this on is multicam and you'll see that a little bit later. Um, but, you know, the, there's really no wear considering how much I've used it except for right here. Um, you know, that that's about it. So it's been held, holding up really well. Now, because I carry this attached to a backpack, um, it's not going to get as banged around as much as it would if it was on my belt. Um, so it's only going to get as much impact as my backpack does, which isn't going to be a whole lot, at least where I have it located. So I'm, I'm really satisfied as far as that goes. Um, and then you can see down here, his little logo right there, 710, um, just, you know, that his little marking that he puts on it. I think that's just a little bit of dirt or um, maybe an insect who lost his life um, due to this knife sheath. But, uh, again, really satisfied overall with the fit and finish. No complaints uh, that I can think of at all. Um, one other nice feature that it has is, and I don't know if this is just a byproduct of it being a taco style uh, sheath, or whether this is intentional, but this little drain hole is perfect. Um, whenever you have a sheath like this, you want to be able to get any excess water out. And being in the Northwest, being in Oregon, we get plenty of rain. So having the ability to let that water drain out is going to help kind of protect the uh, the metal on the knife itself, going to prevent any excessive uh, corrosion or anything like that. So a really nice feature. Now, obviously one of the big important things when it comes to knife sheaths is the retention, and the retention on this thing is perfect. Now you'll notice there's no kind of secondary means of retention, there's, so there's no loops or anything like that. It's just going to be the actual friction lock here, um, and it, it's, it's perfect. I mean, I can shake this around all day long, I can shake it up and down, and the only thing you're hearing is this bouncing around, but uh, you can hear that there's no jiggling, no looseness whatsoever, so it's a very, very positive uh, retention on this. Now as far as actually pulling it out, this is where one of my favorite features of the sheath comes into play. You can see this little lip right here um, that where he's kind of formed it to open up a little bit and what it, that allows you to do is get a really comfortable position with your thumb to kind of help pull this knife out. You know it's not excessively difficult to remove this from the sheath but that gives you a perfect comfortable ramp to be able to assist when it comes out. Like I said, this is a Becker BK9. Um, I actually had the opportunity to meet Ethan Becker as well at that same gathering. Um, and I was really impressed by him. Really nice guy, really down to earth, easy to talk to. Um, and it was really cool kind of getting his opinions as far as why he designs the knives the way he does, especially the, uh, the handles. Um, you know, some of his theory behind everything. And just uh, be able to bounce some... Um, you know, questions and anything else knife related off him. Again, really cool guy. Um, and because of my experience with him at that gathering, I decided to try to stick to Becker knives as much as I can. Um, Becker knives, at least in this case, are now through K Bar. So K Bar is the actual manufacturer. And then Ethan Becker is the uh, designer of the BK series, um, or at least for the most part. 
Now, um, you know, when it comes to the people who actually make this stuff, like I said, had the opportunity to meet JD, had the opportunity to meet Ethan Becker. To me, it's really important to have a, um, how should I put this, a, a level of mutual respect when it comes to spending money on a product. Um, I, I've gone to places like my local Cabela's where I walk in there and you know, first off, things aren't necessarily priced the best, and then also I get horrible, horrible treatment. Um, it seems like every time I go to Cabela's, something even worse happens than the time I went before. So it gets to the point where I don't want to spend money there just because I don't like the way I'm getting treated. Now, having met JD and having met Ethan Becker and kind of getting to know who they are, it is really given me no hesitation whatsoever as far as wanting to pay even a little bit more for their products. Now Becker knives are actually really reasonably priced if you're looking for a fixed blade. Uh, you can get into one of these um, fairly inexpensively compared to some other big fixed blades out there. And then the sheaths that um, JD produces are also really reasonably priced. And you know you have options that go from really inexpensive all the way up to, um, to where you're paying a good chunk of money but again, it's going to be totally worth it with the craftsmanship that he puts in. So as far as the actual um, business of re-sheathing your knife, you're going to hear a nice positive click when you place it back in, and you know that this knife isn't going anywhere. Um, as far as the actual retention goes on the knife too, uh, you have to specify what type of handle scales you have so that he can make sure that it, it's going to positively retain the specific knife that you have. So um, there are options for all different kinds of grips, whether that be the factory ones, factory micarta ones, or any of the other custom ones that are available out there. Um, so you know no matter what, your setup is going to be very, very positive. You also get a lot of options as far as the way that the uh, belt loop is attached. You can get the very simple Kydex one like I have here. You can also get really nice leather ones that um, are kind of on a dangling system so it'll move a little bit more freely. I decided to go with a very simple Kydex one just because I don't anticipate using this as a belt mounted sheath very often. Um, so you can actually remove it with these two screws here if you want to remove it all together. Um, however, when I lash it to my backpack, as I'll show you here in a bit, I want to keep that on just in case, you know, the off chance that I do want to have it belt mounted, I can very easily and quickly take it off and then, um, you know, attach it to my belt that way and then reattach it to my backpack when I don't need it anymore. So actually right now I'll go ahead and show you exactly how I have this set up when I actually go out as far as attaching it to my wilderness pack. So as you can see here, this is how I've mounted it to my actual uh, wilderness pack. I just took some 550 cord and basically lashed it through to the molly webbing that's located underneath, actually against the side of the pack. Um, and this has worked really well. Um, you know, it gives it a little bit of play, but it definitely holds it in place well enough for me to be able to um, draw the knife out of the sheath very easily and be able to uh, put it back in its sheath very easily as well. Um, so again, it's just lashed in there with 550 cord. Uh, to the molly webbing in the back and it was basically a quick simple and easy way to attach it to this pack and you can tell that the the multicam blends in fairly well and I mean it, it goes with the pack hard thing about multicam 511s isn't exactly like anyone else's um, but even then this is going to break up the profile better than just a regular you know black nylon sheet that it comes with so as you can see, it attaches very simply, um, and because of all the rivet holes here, you get a, a good amount of options as far as attaching it. Again, going back into the different options you have, you can get the taco style fold over like I have here. You can get the more paddle style where you have two separate pieces and you'll have rivets going down both ends. It's going to make it a little bit wider. You can even get leather lined kydex uh, sheaths, so you can have the positive retention of the kydex sheath along with the durability. Um, while also having the aesthetic appeal of some nice custom leather. Uh, I, I gotta say, the, the leather work that he does is extremely impressive. It looks very, very good. Um, I'll roll in some pictures of some of the stuff that he's done as far as that goes. Um, he even does custom scales for the for the handles. Um, I'm even I've even seen some of the custom knives that he's done. He's a kind of a very well-rounded uh, manufacturer, so he can do a lot of different stuff. Now, as far as the knives that he makes sheaths for, um, he he really can make them for just about anything. Um, he has all of the Becker ones available, so you don't even have to send him your knife. He's got a lot of the other K-Bar stuff. He's got SE, um, some of the other big um, fixed blade producers. He's got 
uh, the knives already ready or the sheaths already ready for. If you have one that's not listed, you can send him your knife and he'll make a custom sheath for you that way. You can even uh, get custom sheaths for axes or even like the cold steel shovel he makes a sheath for. So that's kind of cool. And then you can even get it in different patterns. He's got the Cryptek patterns, he's got multicam, as well as just kind of the more regular uh, solid colors as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put a uh, put his website down here as well as a link to the website in the description so you can kind of check it out for yourself. Again, you have so many different options. Um, it's, it's really endless. You can customize it however you want. Um, and then what I'm also going to do is put a link or put his Instagram name on here so you can get a good idea of some of the other stuff that he's made. You know, he, he's, he's got some really impressive work that he's done. So you can see for yourself. Um, just what kind of things that you can anticipate when you do business through this guy. So in closing, I really can't say enough good things about uh, the, the sheath that I have here. Um, not only is it a high quality sheath, but the guy who makes them is a really great guy to do business with and you're definitely going to be happy with it. Um, if you want, I know he goes to Blade Show, so you can probably meet him yourself if you go to Blade Show and kind of get a uh, better idea for you know who he is as a guy. Um, but if you don't go to Blade Show, just take it from me. Really, really easy to guy, easy guy to work with. If you guys have any questions or comments, concerns, go ahead and put that in the description below. If there's any other custom sheath makers you want me to try out, let me know that as well. But to be honest with you, I'm so satisfied with this one that I'm probably not going to go elsewhere to get sheaths in the future. Uh, if you want to see a review on this uh, BK9 itself, let me know. Um, you know, I've got some uh, pretty good use out of it so far, and I'm going to be using it plenty from here on out. So just let me know if you want to see something like that, if you'd be interested in that. Um, as well as um, just reviews of Becker knives in general. I've got quite a few of them, and I know I'll be getting more in the future as well. So let me know what you're interested in as far as that goes. And as always, guys, you know, I hope you got something out of this, and I appreciate you watching.